Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be showing you how you can import in your own images from your computer into Unreal Engine to be displayed on your screen. So having said that, what I need you guys to do is go ahead and download this UI resources folder. Within here you've got a Photoshop document for a basic main menu and you've also got some images for a logo and also for some buttons which I've put in here. What I'm going to be doing in today's video is talking about the import process, some of the best practices you need to do and also showing you how to simply bring them into Unreal Engine. Now these images I have already set up and in terms of importing things, importing these images is going to be really straightforward. So what I'm going to do is grab this Virtus logo here within my UI resources folder, click, drag and drop it into my content browser to import it. It is simple as that. So what I could do now then is right click and then just create a user interface widget. I'm going to give this the name menu and open this up and then from here I could drag in an image and just go to appearance brush and then just set this to my logo image and you can now see that I've got my Virtus logo in here. Now what I want you guys to keep in mind is I can make this bigger, smaller and so on but what I have done is I have already scaled my image here. The proportions are right, this is exactly how I want it to look. If I double click it you can see it is a logo, it's not stretched or anything like that. To make sure that your image isn't stretched in any way, so for example let's say you've stretched it too far to the right and you just want it to look perfect. The way that you're going to do this is by taking the original image size which you can find under the, underneath the appearance and then just set this to the actual size up at the top here. So for example Image size here is 342 by 251. So set this at the top to 432. And in the bottom one, you want to set this to 251. And you can now see it has scaled to the size that I want it to be. What I'm also going to do is quickly show you inside of Photoshop how I've set this up to be the exact size that I want it to be. Now, if you take a look at this image here, this is the main menu that we're going to be creating over the duration of this series. We've got our logo here and it is exactly the size that I've got it here, which is perfect. And the way that I've done this is really straightforward. I have exported it, I have exported it out in the exact size that I want it to be displayed in on the screen inside of Unreal Engine. And the way I've done this is quite simple. Now one thing that I do want to mention is that all of my UI graphics are designed inside of Adobe Photoshop, with Adobe Photoshop being the industry standard for UI design and creation. So having said that, you're going to be making the assets inside of a program like Photoshop, GIMP or so on, and then bringing it into Unreal Engine to be displayed and to add that functionality and bring it all together within your game. But for those of you that do want to see how I've exported this image out of Photoshop in a way that it is ready to bring into Unreal Engine, it is pretty straightforward. So, like I said before, when you're bringing in, uh, when you're bringing in an image into Unreal Engine, it does need to be a PNG file. And the reason for that is because it is Unreal Engine's sort of preferred file format for images, especially those that have transparency. So you can see here, with this image that I brought in here, there is no white background on the Virtus logo, it's completely transparent. So something like a bitmap image, sorry, um, like a targa file or something like that, it's not going to allow you to have that transparency, whereas a PNG is going to do that. And we need to keep that in mind when we are exporting it out inside of Photoshop. Now the quickest and the easiest way to export an image in the size that it is within your scene right now is to simply select it, like this logo, got the layer in the bottom right here, right click and quick export as PNG and if you hit save it's going to save it out in the size that it is displayed on the screen at the moment and that is how 
I generated that logo image. And I can do the same thing with the start button. For this, what I'm going to need to do is just group all of the button images together, merge them so that it comes out as one file. So I just go to merge layers and then simply quick export as PNG and then we could save this as button one and we have now got our button one image and we can just bring it into Unreal Engine 4. So hopefully you guys have learned quite a lot in today's video. You Hopefully you guys have figured out how to import images into Unreal Engine 4, whether that's ones that you've made yourself or have simply just downloaded off the internet as a template or something. And for those of you that are Photoshop users, you should now know the quickest and the easiest way to take a UI asset that you've made already, export it out and bring it into Unreal Engine. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.